Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be looking at the brand new 2024 roadmap for Disney Mirrorverse so if you are new please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel and also follow my ex down description down below to stay up there when I do upload brand new videos on the channel so it is finally the time we have some more information on a brand new roadmap coming to Disney Mirrorverse so it's finally that time where we have the roadmap for 2024 in Disney Mirrorverse I'm very excited for this as you may know we have new guidance is coming out within the next few months and throughout the year and we have no idea what content is coming until now so we're gonna get straight into it at the start of the year we laid out the beginning of a plan of new content spanning the rest of the year we said we would share more information soon and by about any definition of the words we're pushing it a bit so it has taken a while but finally it is here so we want to first thank you all for your patience and dedication to the game we hope you're just excited to read our roadmap as we are to share it so here's what we got plans for the upcoming week and months so to start on Wednesday the 20th of March we have a new master difficulty level coming to act 1 chapter 4 we will then release a new master difficulty level every Wednesday for the next six weeks this will finish on act 2 chapter 1 every single week on a Wednesday we're gonna get a brand new master difficulty level so this is just what we need in Disney Mirrorverse we need content every single week we need a set day to wake up and just get ready for new content to come out and that's gonna be every single Wednesday for the next six weeks so I'm really looking forward to that and it's just some more challenging content for players to actually go into and fight so after the six weeks ends which is on May the 1st act 2 chapter 1 will be released and all currently released chapters will then have master difficulty mode available for those ready to take on a challenge so this is really good as well and I'm very much looking forward to this so rounding out the master difficulties for existing chapters will pave the way for upcoming content releases so I'm really looking forward to this so much new content coming out so speaking of upcoming Coming content in May, the story of the Mirrorverse will enter its next phase with release of Act 2, Chapter 2, Fractured Mirror on the Wall, and the addition of a brand new Guardian. I made a video on who's coming soon. I don't want to spoil it, but just go back and see. It's one of three Guardians. So these will be the first of five new story chapters and four new Guardians coming this year. We only know three company of the four Guardians coming out and just one more coming out very soon. It's a hard one. I'm a little bit disappointed. I really enjoyed there being two Guardians every month, but obviously we know Kabam have shortened their staff. So it's going to be harder to release Guardians and yeah it's very disappointing in that way but at least we're getting something for Guardians what, what's that like one every three months so they're just gonna make the actual events longer and just drag it out a bit but I'm just happy there's new content to be honest I'm just happy there's something come back into the game so I'm not overly like fussed about it and obviously as you saw we have act 2 chapter 2 coming out as well so we've got act 1 coming out and then act 2 so we're making some progress with the actual story mode of the game which has been something that was just left for dead to be honest over the past year they added like one every four months and it was just like something you play in about an hour and then you gotta wait another six months for another story to come out so i'm really happy that they're releasing it on a set schedule every single week so people don't just rush through it by introducing the upcoming guardians through the story instead of events and with more free to play options for getting the new guardians on your team we hope current and future players will be able to experience and grow along with the story of mirrorverse as it evolves so this is huge for free to play players that they can actually get the guardians through the story content this is something that was announced earlier in the year in january and we have it confirmed here you're going to be able to get the brand new guardians through the story so yes that's really good and that's something that i really think all games just try to do just make the game more free to play friendly for those who don't actually spend so next up we will be shifting our event cadence to a 16 day five day schedule starting in april so echoes will run for 16 days with a five day mini campaign in between so the main event will last 16 days and there's gonna be a smaller one for five days and that'll take it to 21 days this scheduling consistently will help us avoid the cause of several recent date related issues and we hope this new format will help keep things fresh and fun for players so I'm happy with this I'm not really gonna moan about this at least we get like a mini event with it as well so in addition to everything mentioned above we also have a few more plans for the year those timelines will be less concrete so we're still waiting for that so first we are working on some additions and tweaks to rift raids we'll be slowly rolling out these updates over the coming months but the end goal is to add more variety to rift raids and increase the difficulty ceiling to make the mode more compelling at all levels so that's coming out in the next few months secondly there's more quality life fixes and improvement we don't know what this is yet but i'll be making an announcement on that 
very soon. So that's the plan for the year. New master difficulty, new story chapters, new guardians, refreshes for rift raids and some quality of life changes. Plus maybe one or two other things we're not quite ready to talk about just yet. For now though, we hope you are excited. We thank you for your patience and we can't wait to share more with you in the coming months ahead. So I'm really happy with this roadmap. It doesn't give the biggest insight to everything. We're getting new master difficulty, new story chapters and all these new stuff to rift raids. So overall, I'm quite excited about this. What's your thoughts down below? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.